I've just come back from where I've been, as you may well suppose. No doubt you've been astonished for to see me in these clothes. Well, at present I'm a huntsman gay, a huntsman gay am I. And all the people laugh at me when through the air I fly. Uh, that is, I say, through the air I fly. Of course, I'm not a flyer. I'm a tribe dresser, you know, by birth. I mean by trade. But it was very funny. There was a friend of mine that's coming to a bit of money. Very nice man he is. Very nice. I, I suppose I borrowed money off him, more money off him than any man I know. He uh, wrote me a letter. He said, dear old boy, come down and have a day's hunt. Well, that surprised me because I didn't know what he meant. Hunt? I didn't know anything about hunting. What's he going to hunt for? So a friend of mine said, very likely there are horses. So I got these suit of clothes. I popped down and I was all right. I met him at the station and he said, hello, he says, old fellow. He says, you're just in time for the meet. So I looked at him. I said, meat? What? Well, I said, have you opened a butcher shop? He says, butcher? No. He says, you're all right. He says, go on up to the house and have some hunt breakfast. So I thought, of course, there we are. The meat's up at the house for the breakfast. I said, very likely he's made a meat tea, only he's made a breakfast of it. So I went up, and I hunted all over the place for the breakfast, and he did want some hunting for it. There wasn't a scrap of meat. There'd been some hounds there before I got there. But however, he came to me and he says, come along, old man. He says, we'll go round to the stables and get your horse. So we went round, and there was my horse. That is to say, the horse they left for me. They'd got the best one. But it was a funny thing, and I always believe in it, that horses love human beings at first sight. Because the moment he looked at me in the stable, he left off eating. And there was a look came over his face, a look as much as to say, good heavens, what is it? So I brought him out of the stable, or rather he brought me out of the stable. Well, to tell the truth, we were both coming out, only I caught me head on the top of the door and brought the door with me. So we got out, and as soon as we got out, he could see I was a stranger. He wouldn't go where they wanted him. He took and showed me all round the fields and all through the conservatories and, and all over the flower beds. I hadn't much time to notice anything in particular because he was in a hurry and to show me all at once. Then he stopped in front of a ditch. Well, of course, the moment we got to the front of the ditch, I knew what the man told me. He said, when you see the ditch, take it. So uh, I took it. Well, I suppose I took about a pint and a half, but no more. I wouldn't take another liqueur of ditch for, for thousands. And then he came up to me while I was up in the neck in ditch, and he said, follow the scent. I said, you follow it yourself, I've had enough here. But it was a beautiful day when... Away, away, well, we don't know where we go, but still, well, I know we went away.